Michelle here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, it is just welcome. Today, I'm just gonna give a quick update on how I'm enjoying my Kindle, how I feel about a Kindle versus an actual book. So I've had my Kindle now for about two months and this is just the case that I have on it, which I absolutely love. And I know some people get the clear case with the pop socket and they decorate it with stickers and that's just not me. And nothing against the people who do it that way. I just, I just prefer not to. So I took forever actually to find this case and yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys wanna know more about that, that's in my other video. I absolutely love my Kindle. This is the second Kindle I have had. My older Kindle, which was a third generation. And like I said, I explained all that in the previous video or the video about me unboxing a Kindle. This is my second one and it's just the Kindle Basic 2022 version. You can't annotate in it. Once again, for me, that's not something I ever do. I don't write in my physical book, so I won't annotate and that's just me. So. I absolutely love my Kindle, you guys. There are so many pros to having a Kindle. I mean, I have this everywhere I go. Even my old one, I took it everywhere I go. I just toss it in my purse. I mean, you have thousands of books, thousands of books right here at your fingertips. And some are free, yes, but I will say, in my personal opinion, the free books that are on here are not that great. So that's probably a con. One thing I do like about this also is the battery life. So my older Kindle, of course, it was very old. I would read maybe like three hours or something like that and the battery would be dying. This holds a charge so long. So I'm actually reading a physical book right now, reading Gone with the Wind. I just wanna see what the differences is between the movie and the book, which is, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, we're not gonna get into that, but I'm reading a physical book and I have not picked this up in, I'd say about a week and a half, because Gone with the Wind is like a thousand page book. It's really huge and I'm just taking my time reading it. So I haven't picked this up maybe in about a week and a half, like I said, and it still has a huge charge in it. I love that about this. Ebooks are usually cheaper. Sometimes the books are just as expensive as an actual book and it probably, to me, depends on the author, the popularity, I don't know. But generally, you can get books on here half the price of an actual book or maybe like five or ten dollars cheaper and who wouldn't want to pay a little bit less, right? So yeah, that's another thing I love about this. So with my old Kindle, I would not be able to read in the dark with my old Kindle. My old Kindle was just, it didn't have like a backlight and this backlight right here that's on here, it doesn't hurt my eyes. So actually when I come in my room at night and I read the majority of my books at night before bed. So when I read at night, I can turn all the lights off. And the good thing about this also is because I have been known to fall asleep while I'm reading, it turns off in about 10 minutes, I think, if you haven't touched anything. That's another good thing about a Kindle that I love. There's a built-in dictionary in here also. I really wasn't gonna give you guys the pros and cons. I was just gonna let you guys know how I've been enjoying my Kindle. I'm just letting you know personally what's good and bad about it. So it's like a built-in dictionary. So you're reading the book and it has a word you don't understand. You hold down on the word and then it gives you the definition of the word, which can help when you're reading. Instead of you know picking up your phone and seeing what the word means, you can actually look it up right here in the Kindle. So I like that about it and I know I've heard some people saying that the lag time like when you click the button or not when you click but when you tap to go to the next page which I'm in the library so if you're reading and this is the front of the book like when you tap on it it takes a minute to get to it and I know the lighting you really can't see whatever but I've heard some people say that that's one thing that they don't like about this one but to me, it's just fine. I don't have an issue with that. I mean, but this is coming from someone who had the third generation of the Kindle. So maybe I'm not a very good person to get my opinion about that. But for me, when you click or swipe to go to the next page, that's okay, that doesn't bug me. I like that when you're reading, you don't get any notifications. Like if you had the Kindle app on, your iPad or on your phone, you'll be distracted. But on the Kindle, it's nothing but exclusively reading. I will always own a Kindle, you guys. I'm that type of person to where I love an actual book. I love the feel, the smell of a book. When I was younger, I loved the library. 
I still like going to the library now, but now I have a library in my Kindle. And I go to Barnes and Nobles all the time, or whatever bookstores around town. So yeah, I'm that one person that just loves a physical book. And this is not a book that I'm reading now, but one con, if you guys know more about what I'm gonna talk about, please let me know in the comments below, with a book, right? A physical book. And this one right here, Iron Flame by Rebecca Yarrows, and I am, patiently impatiently waiting for january for the third edition to come out not third edition but the third book in the series anyway so on a kindle as far as i know you won't be able to see like a map so here's a map of navarre which is where they live and the cities and stuff like that if there's little things like that that's in a physical book from my knowledge you won't see that on the kindle so that's the only thing that i could say is a con to me the map or whatever they're trying to show you just helps you visualize it picture it in your head even though if you're reading you're already doing that but i don't know to me having a map that you can see or something like this it just helps a little bit more so that's the only thing that i can say that's a con also on the kindle you can like when you're reading it'll give you like 13 more minutes left in this chapter or like seven hours left in this book to read. So I find that I read a whole lot faster on this because of that. When I see that, it's like, oh yeah, 13 minutes left in the chapter? We gonna do it in 10, you know, stuff like that. I feel like I read faster. I do have to click a whole lot more, you know, turn the page a whole lot more because I made my font a little bit bigger because, you know, I got 51 year old eyes and yeah, I need to see. So yeah, since I've had this, I have read, let's see, oh well, I thought it was less than that. So since I've had this particular Kindle, I've read five books on here, almost two months. Yeah, you guys, that's my opinion on my Kindle. I throw this in my purse. There was a time that I took like a break from reading, and not a break, but I just didn't read at all, not even, I'd read maybe like one or two books a year, but now I'm in my reading season and I am just reading, but I'll go from reading a book or two on my Kindle to a physical book, and I'll go back and forth that way, make sure I, you know, get both, because I will still always buy a physical book and I will still always own a Kindle. I will never be the one to only have physical books again, and that's just me, or I will never only just have a Kindle because I love the feel, the touch, the smell of an extra book. I know I'm weird like that. But yeah, you guys, that is my update at about two months of having this. So yeah, you guys, let me know down below if you prefer a Kindle or if you like a physical book or if you're like me and go back and forth. So yeah, let's chat in the comments below. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how I am enjoying my Kindle. I am absolutely loving it. I love my first Kindle. I love this one even more because I don't know, I just do. I just do. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you check out my failed unboxing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.